What's up you guys? As you guys might have noticed, we finally hit 100 subs. Well, yeah. technically... <laughs> well, technically now we're at what? 104? 104. 104. And we promised you guys we'd be doing a Q&A video once we hit 100 subs. And, and this nobody uh, asks us questions, because so that's the whole video. See you guys next one. And we got a grand total of one question. So one question, well, a three. One question in a three-part series. Three questions from one person. That's how you say it. Yeah. And this was on Reddit, long, underscore, pig, underscore, cafe. And on YouTube, he goes by the name of Weird Files, which he did comment on one of our other videos, but yeah. I forget which video it was. So his first question was, are you using a spirit boxes? Dishonestly. So the whole thing with the spirit box is it cycles through all the radio frequencies. It does sound ecstatic. However, though, we do not use this dishonestly. Hence, the whole name of our series is called True Fear. Because it's true. Yeah, I've seen YouTubers like, and you, it's so blatantly fake, and it's just. No, nothing's worse than you liking somebody for a long time and then finding out it's fake the whole time. Yeah, because then you feel that's betrayed, just, that's cheated, just, it's you like, off. yeah, so, I mean, honestly, this is kind of the only thing we have right now. Yeah, we, and we do do EVPs, however though, we never seem to get the EVPs. That's kind of, that's hard. We, we never get the EVPs via the, the actual voice recorder, we'll get it in the video, like the last yeah. video we just uploaded, there was one in that, there was one in Wolf Island Road. So, um, I, I don't know, with those, it's just like, if it happens, it happens. Yeah. But, other than that, that we, this is all and, we got at the moment. And with us being such a small YouTube channel, we don't want to use EVPs as much because that's kind of something that's like, if you catch it, it's awesome, but 90% of the time, it's going to be nothing because it's, it's really hard. Yeah. So, us using this is, it's 50-50, like, it could be it just saying nothing the whole time. Yeah. But... If you're asking specific questions and it answers in certain ways that you never heard an answer from previous videos, um, like Happy Birthday. Yeah, that one was a good one. Um, watch, or me. watch Me. That, watch that me was, was a great insane. one. But like, you never hear that from any other video, so that's when you kind of think like, okay, this is kind of like working. It goes backwards and everything, so that's pretty cool. Which actually leads into our other question. Are spirit boxes real? This, yeah, so that question... Kind of. So that question, I, I kind of, I was a little bit uh, confused by what he meant exactly when he said our spare box is real. Yes, they're they, physically real. They, they are physically it. real. Yeah, <laughs> no shit. I feel like that's like such like a broad question because it's like it really depends like if you believe yeah in if you the think, paranormal you think and everything. So I mean, with most of these places, I try to go in and be a little bit like skeptical of some of these places. Try to debunk everything. Yeah, and, and, if you and literally can't then. There was that one video of the undisclosed location. Me and Nate were like going back and forth. At one point, Nate thought he saw an orb, but then I thought it was dust. Yeah. Because of how he had the light point, and we were bouncing back and forth for like it was weeks still, we still on don't end. Know. Yeah. I honestly don't know. It could be dust from like previously in the video. You can tell like the way dust goes, and it looks just like it. It like it's like a bright light that comes in and then it goes away because it's a bunch of it on the top of on the second floor, and then towards the end about the 14 minute mark you can see one on the left corner that comes in but that one moves a little slower and it feels like it's a little more brighter and has a full shape of a circle rather than it just being like mm -hmm. yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. light and it goes away yeah and I, um, I noticed that too when you point it out to me dust, so I really have literally no idea so. but the, but then yet again though the same exact thing happens when I hear I'll have on my headphones and I'll be listening to the spare box. I'll hear either an EVP or I'll hear something on the spare box. I'll give it to Nate. I'll tell him, "Did you hear that?" And then he'll just be like, "No, I didn't hear it." But yeah, there's some. But then I'll be playing it back, and I can and I can hear it, and I'll give it to Ken's. Then I'll give the headphones to Ken's. Ken's can hear it. Yeah, I can. I'll give the headphones to Alicia. Alicia will hear it. So it's. I would say. So this is going back to spare boxes. Um, the answer to that question, um, are spare boxes real? I would say it's, it's all, up to you. It, yeah, it really, it's really up to you and how you interpret it. Yeah. So if you feel like these are real, then I would say, I would say go into these with being open-minded. I wouldn't, which would honestly, I think this leads into our next question. Oh from, man, look at us. Are spare boxes a reliable evidence? So, this, that, now that part, I really like that part. So, the answer to that question. I would say no. 
They are not 100% reliable. No. And we do need to upgrade our equipment. And I am currently looking into this one thing that this I found on the Facebook Marketplace that this guy is selling. It's an EDI meter. What that does is it measures EMF uh, electromagnetic fields, measures the temperature, also measures humidity, which I thought was weird at first, but if you ever have like a moment where you're like, oh, it, it got, suddenly got hot, it suddenly got cold, it'll track that. So if it's humidity, it can get debunked. It also detects um, vibrations, which I yeah. think is actually pretty cool. If you have it on like a table or something, and if something bumps, into the, bumps into the table, it'll pick up the vibration of it, or you can put it on like a floor. And the cool thing that I like... On the floor or something, if something walks by, it can pick up the vibration of it walking. And the cool thing that I like about this thing is that it uh, has an SD card slot, so it will log all that data. Yep. So there is literally, we, like, we get it, we will show you guys that, hey, at this time, it, it did this. Hmm. There's no way we can debunk that. If it, so, if it happened, it happened. So, your box is reliable evidence? What do you think? I mean, me personally, I say no, but this is all we got at the moment. I, I say. But, but then at the same point, at the same time, though, you still have those moments where it says, like, yes, who we'll watch me. And the like, thing is, is like, and that's it, clear it, as when it says yes, no, those are the kinds of ones where I'm kind of like, it could just be saying, no. And we hear whatever we want to hear. Yeah. But when it says, happy birthday, watch me, or a certain name that relates to something, yeah, it's and cool. you can hear it and it's answering to your specific questions, that's when I'm kind of like, okay, that kind of makes sense because it's going so fast backwards. Mm -hmm. The odds of like 15 radio stations in a row picking up specific syllables to make a word say, watch me, is extremely hard. And if you, like, and the odds that happening is so slim. And it cut the static too when it said that. Yeah, and it went completely Which was silent. <laughs> and, if, and we've gone to places where it just does nothing the whole time. Yeah. So, if you watch like Ghost Adventures and stuff, they don't use this as much, they use it once in a while. It's, it's because here. they even say like, it's not reliable, but it's It's awesome to use. It's awesome and it's easy to hear, the, uh, hear voices through them. And you get like an immediate response most of the time, like it's like that. Like, whereas yeah. an EVP, it's like, it's really like, well, at, you're tossing a coin. We will be using this. This would be like our main thing to use, but we're going to be using um, other equipment and trying to be like more of, oh, close the door type of thing, hearing footsteps, seeing things, that kind of stuff, feeling stuff, that meter that we're talking about. Like, spare box, like I said in previous videos, that could do very well could all be pareidolia. So those are the three questions we got from one person. To sum that all up though, so it seems like what he wants from us is he wants us to make it very clear right now if we're being honest yeah. about our YouTube channel. Best answer I could give to that is absolutely, we're being 100% honest. 100%. And we never intended for this to go fully paranormal, and I don't, we're no. it's still not going to be fully paranormal. Yeah, we're just yeah. sticking to truth here because a lot of people enjoy watching it, and we not gonna kinda lie, we kind of audience. Yeah, we build an audience, yeah, but right. also too like we we kind of like doing this. So I like it's it. Fun. Yeah, it's dangerous in some spots. Yeah, some spots we're gonna go to um, ghost farm. I still think the ghost farm was the most dangerous one. Just oh, because there were squatters there. There was people there, yeah. Clear evidence you that there were squatters. That. If you haven't seen that video, it's right here. Um, answer that. Right there. <laughs> so once again, everything you see that we do that's paranormal, you guys have our word. None of it's faked. None of it can be faked. I used to work at a haunted house, and if I was going to make a fake a fake ghost video, it I'd be, be recreating The Exorcist. And it would be those. amazing. <laughs> And we try to debunk everything. Everything we hear footsteps. We're like, was it footsteps? Was it somebody else? Was it just creaking? Well, what about? What did I move? Did your boot? But, did you sit up a little bit? Did your boot move? And that's a shuffle. Best example I'd say would be with the third floor, though. with the door. With the door. We thought, oh, maybe it's because yeah. I backed and up. And then we did it, and you couldn't even hear the door shut. And now, the thing it's... is, like, we went up there, and you, I go up, and it has it's connected to hinges, so it doesn't really 100% close all the way. There were no windows open. There was nobody in back of the door. Usually, it was literally just Nathan and I. It just, it doesn't. If you move it, you can't hear anything. But when you go to close it, it doesn't really close all the way. No. It makes like a clinking noise, like a clink clink, and that's exactly the noise it did. And I know when I move the camera back, you can see like the angle of it uh, go away because yeah. of the angle. But you can hear it, and it, you can definitely tell it moves a little bit. Oh yeah. Absolutely. It's like, I don't know how we didn't see it though. That pissed me off. I... Well, I think I was looking at you at one point. You were. So you, I, you looked at so me. So I wasn't paying attention at the door. And then you looked back at the door, but I guess my reaction probably would have been gold. Because we were both looking down, listening, we tried to listen to the spare box. Yeah, so again, everything's real. 
Yes. 100%. Um, we put disclaimers now in the beginning. I know people are asking us to do that. and I mean, we did that in a couple of videos, but not, we weren't consistent, but now we will do that. Um, so, yeah. Also, Mike is thinking about making a second channel. Yes. So, the second channel is... Uh, if you guys have ever seen um, these other YouTubers, Nick Crowley, Rainbot, um, it's going to be kind of like... Kind of like that style, but I the whole basis of me starting the second channel is because when we go to a lot of these places, I don't really have as much time to explain what these places are. Yeah. Like the Freetown State Forest, and I can tell you guys all loving the hell out of that one video. That could be. Like I don't understand why, because we didn't get too much, but you guys love that. So yeah, yeah, that was crazy. I didn't really explain most. Freetown of State Forest. Okay. So I didn't really explain most of that whole bit uh, of that place, but when I make the second channel, I'll have as much time as I want to make that into a full video. Because oh yeah, that could there's be, so you, much. You can make like twenty that videos on that. That could be like a four hour session. I could talking. do, dude. I could do that <laughs> one video and like a thirty five minute video. Yeah. So that's what he's gonna do. I need a TikToker. <laughs> TikTok and also maybe Twitch. It might be gaming too. So if you guys want to hey, there you go. watch some gaming. Now that doesn't mean that just because I'm starting a second channel and Nate's doing his uh his stuff on the side, that doesn't mean that VSXL is over. Like it's far from over. We're just expanding and may hopefully like our goal right now for the future is to grow a bigger audience. And because I mean like I didn't even like I was confident like we we're gonna get a hundred. I wasn't confident enough that we're gonna get that 100 fast. this fast. Like, yeah. We started this in what, February? In February. And we already hit 100. Like, I've, I've done... Four months, so pretty good. <laughs> like, I've done gaming in the past, and I've never... Literally four months, I got like 30 subs. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, thank you a ton for getting us to 100 subscribers. Yay! Literally... Literally, that is so freaking awesome, and I can't even thank you guys enough just for being a part of this channel. But you guys are literally the backbone of everything we do. We hit triple digits. Honestly, looking at the triple digits, that's pretty cool. yeah. Literally, the night we hit 100 was like an yeah. awesome night. That was dope. <laughs> and we played Warzone. We got a dub. Go. Thank you. Anyways, <laughs> uh, you got. Come on, go. Yeah, you can go. You can go. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like. Comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Um, I hope I did this right. If, if, I, if I did do it right, blast me in the comments. But now, just because we upload this video doesn't mean that we're done answering questions. So if you guys do have any other questions yeah, you want exactly. answered, just comment them down below. We'll answer them to the best of, of our ability. Or on Twitter. Or on, or on Instagram. Yeah. Or but, on our Facebooks. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But um, anyway, until next time, you guys. Oh, hold on. If you stuck through this entire video and you're watching this right now, we have a we have an only thing. Like <laughs> not yet. <laughs> we have a top five uh, best captures coming out soon. Yeah. So look forward to that one because that one's gonna be insane. But I think definitely though our next video, we're just waiting until we get. This uh the CDI meter and soon. But well, the next place we're planning on going to is back to the Freetown State Forest. Yeah. We keep saying it, but we don't want to return with just that spirit box. We, yeah. We gotta bring more. Yep. So all right. and, and we feel like you guys deserve that at this point. <laughs> Hunter. Alright. Alright. See you in the next video. Peace. Peace.